Hello world, welcome to my Path of Exile hideout competition entry. The theme of this particular hideout is Shipwrecked. And it is the Coral hideout, which is of course quite large. And this is quite the expensive hideout, or it was. I don't know how much it costs anymore because the prices were supposedly reduced, although I'm not sure by how much. And pretty much requires favor, level 7, or level 7 for all the masters. And let's just go over the features. I tried to make everything more or less conveniently located in this general vicinity, with the exception of Navali, but how often do you really trade in divination cards? So we have the lighthouse. I did manage to get all of these portals to work just with the map device shoved inside the little center, which is fantastic. And of course we have Xana, so you can buy and sell crap. Or mostly just sell crap to her. Because that's what you do. And she's sitting here in her little makeshift Atlas command center with all kinds of books salvaged from the shipwrecks. Some of these things... Some things from the Atlas, some things from the shipwreck. Of course, I have the stash here. Nice and hidden. So you can't even see the animations. No guild stash, but there should be plenty of places for you to shove it in here. The decorations aren't at cap, so there is room to expand a little bit. Not a whole lot, though. And when we come down here, we have the crafting bench. Which is disguised as a wood chopping station for the waypoint. Which, of course, is a bonfire because... That's a thing. We have some poor people that uh, survived and are just trying to warm up at the fire with all the furs. And uh, in Betrayal League, June sits over here, about here, looking out, sad because she's stuck on this island instead of shanking people in the back from the syndicate. And it's mostly just so all of her portals open without throwing a fit. Apparently someone used to live here at some time, but it's uh, now beachfront property, even though that may not have been the case at one time. Oh, these, these guys did not survive the shipwreck, unfortunately. And here we have Einhar selling or giving away things collected from the rest of the island, and even a selection of delicious meat products. Of course, we have Nivali selling or giving away all kinds of uh, prophecies, doing some research, because what else is she going to do on this abandoned island? I made the uh, large shipwreck thing was just not large enough for me, so I just made my own. And I didn't think I'd be able to get up enough favor for it anyway, because they're kind of pricey, I think. But this is mostly the wagon debris. Got me a ship masty thing and a bunch of coral. I use the whale ribs because they kind of look like the sides and the ribs of a ship. And of course, there is no guessing on why this ship has been destroyed. And we have some of the ruins here. You can actually walk through them this way up or going this way. We have this tent with some of the stuff that was salvaged that didn't turn into crap. And I have these rocks here so um, the pegs don't look weird and floaty. We got another guy here surviving a shipwreck. And um, some little giblets all over the place. Things that weren't salvaged very well because they're, you know, water damaged. Got some cages. Ah. Uh, if you ever wondered where Einhard got his delicious meat products, probably shouldn't ask. Don't wonder. You don't want to know. Have this little fenced off area. This is a good place, I think, for some pets that are uh, just waiting to be eaten. Because why not? It used to be a shrine. You could still see some of the magic is there. But it's mostly not really going anywhere. Of course, you have this way from Navali if you want to take a shortcut. This area. This area has the sky stone bricks, which you can't pass through even though they're really low. So you could put a pet in here and it should stay in this general vicinity. It could be protecting its nest. We have some little tents in the forest. This guy's taking a nap. This guy's just sitting there being bored. And we have this mysterious temple where Alva and Helena are looking at it, thinking about how to get through there because you never know. There could be artifacts and treasure. I think they'd work well together. Helena likes to find artifacts and learn about them. Alva likes to steal artifacts and hoard them. 
I actually put, you can charge dash through here, there's nothing on the other side, it's just, didn't know what to put there, and I didn't think I'd have enough favor for all of the decorations that I could put in there. But there is a pillar and some other things that block off this area. So uh, you could put little buggies in here, so they kind of dart in and out, give it a little bit of flavor. Yeah, go away, Helena. Nobody loves you. Not really. You give hideouts, so I guess that's worth the love. Anyway, we have the um, little bit of a cave area here with Nico and his obsession with delving. It's a little bit of broken down. There's a kind of... There's something to whiff here now. Probably not good for your health. Broken down machinery. But there you go. And there we are. Nice little circle. Everything is conveniently located except for Navali because she's just kind of trying, she's too busy trying to sell fortunes. She doesn't care about you, Exile, sorry. And that is all we have for this hideout. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.